Good day, and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle, and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride in under five minutes a day for free. Today's video covers weather products and resources. Acceptable resources were listed in the video preceding this one, so we will focus on weather products this video. This video will be a general overview, while the videos to follow will highlight weather products individually to provide a greater understanding of each. We will divide the products into textual products and graphical products. Textual products are marked with an identifier code, while graphic products are not, as they should be easily identifiable by visual design. I will include the code in parentheses after each product. The list of textual products is as follows. Aviation Routine Weather Reports, or METARs, are released every hour at 55 minutes past the hour, unless conditions change rapidly. They remain valid only until the next METAR is released. The METAR includes information on currently observed winds, visibility, sky conditions, temperature and dew point, altimeter settings, and weather in the vicinity of the airport. The TAF, or Terminal Aerodrome Forecasts, are released four times daily at 000 Zulu and every six hours after that. They remain valid for 24 hours. TAFs contain forecast winds, visibility, sky conditions, and weather in the vicinity of the airport. AirMets, released as required by conditions, a maximum of 6 hours apart, remain valid for 6 hours. AirMets can be broken down further into three categories. Tango, for moderate turbulence and surface winds greater than 30 knots. Sierra, I always think of the Sierra Nevadas, for mountain obscuration and extensive IFR conditions. And Zulu, for free zing levels and moderate icing. SIGMETs are issued when conditions require, similar to AIRMETs, but no more than four hours apart this time, and they remain valid for four hours. Information contained includes severe or extreme turbulence or icing not related to convective activity. Convective activity is the circular movement of air associated with thunderstorms and hail. SIGMETs also include unusual weather phenomena, such as sandstorms, volcanic eruptions, etc. Convective SIGMETs, essentially SIGMETs for thunderstorms, are released hourly at 55 minutes past the hour. If there is no convective activity observed, then that will be what is reported. Convective SIGMETs contain information regarding thunderstorms, lines of embedded thunderstorms, hail greater than 3 quarter inch diameter, and surface wind in excess of 50 knots. The Center Weather Advisory, released as required, is valid for 2 hours max and supplements weather advisories. PIREPs are pilot reports made available as conditions are reported that remain valid while conditions persist. They may be routine or urgent and may include information regarding sky conditions, wind shear, and various weather phenomena. Winds and temperatures aloft, issued four times daily, with the period of validity listed on the report, includes forecast winds and temperatures every 3,000 feet above sea level. The winds and temperatures aloft are also depicted graphically, which brings us to graphical products. Surface analysis charts are released every three hours and are valid at the time of observation. They depict fronts, pressure systems, and isobars. Weather depiction charts are released every three hours as well and are valid at the time of observation. They depict fronts and pressure systems as well as VFR, marginal VFR, and IFR conditions and sky conditions at certain stations. Radar summary charts are released hourly 15 minutes past the hour and contain precipitation information. Radar summary charts should not be used to assume cloud coverage along a route. Constant pressure analysis are released twice daily and contain information regarding temperature dew point spread, wind, and pressure and pressure level information. Composite moisture stability charts are issued twice daily as well and include information regarding freezing levels and humidity. Low level significant weather prognostic charts are released four times daily at zero Zulu and every six hours following. They remain valid for 12 or 24 hours and depict information regarding pressure, fronts, precipitation, turbulence, freezing levels, and VFR, marginal VFR, and IFR conditions. A convective outlook may be issued one to five times a day and includes a national thunderstorm forecast. This concludes today's discussion of weather products. As always, thank you so much for watching. Any feedback is very valuable to me, and I hope you'll include it in the comments section. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope that you'll like it, subscribe, or share with a friend. Safe flying.